Now let's get started. Like most fitness programs, a good warm-up is an important start to each and every exercise session. Its primary purpose is to increase the heart rate, increase the body's internal temperature, and prepare the muscles and joints for the more moderate intensity activities to follow. Throughout this section, you should select the appropriate level of intensity that allows you to perform between 8 to 12 repetitions before fatiguing. Begin with a single set of 8 repetitions of each exercise and gradually increase to 12 repetitions before adding a second set of repetitions. The first warm-up exercise involves head turns. The benefit of this exercise is to improve range of motion of muscles of the neck and improve posture. These are the same movements you would perform when driving a car or turning your head while crossing the street. For head turns, stand or sit tall and focus your eyes forward on a target at eye level. Maintain your eyes on the target during each turn. Slowly turn your head to the right side. Return to center. Slowly turn your head to the left side. Then return to center. Repeat this exercise eight times in each direction. The next warm-up exercise involves head tilts. The benefit of this exercise is to improve range of motion of muscles of the neck and improve posture. For the head tilts, stand or sit tall and focus your eyes forward on a target at eye level. Maintain your eyes on the target during each tilt. Slowly tilt your head down to the right shoulder. Return to center. Slowly tilt your head down to the left shoulder. Return to center. Repeat this exercise eight times in each direction. In each of these exercises, remember to move your head slowly to prevent dizziness. Breathe evenly throughout the exercise. Our next warm-up exercise is overhead arm reaches. The benefit from this exercise is to improve mobility in the shoulder and upper back. This will improve your ability to reach. Stand or sit tall and focus your eyes forward on a target at eye level. Slowly raise both arms close to the body and towards the ceiling. Slowly lower arms down to the side of the body. Move arms slowly through a comfortable, pain-free range of motion. Breathe evenly throughout the exercise. Avoid lifting your shoulders. Instead, keep them pressed down away from the ears. Repeat this exercise eight times.
Next, we will perform a marching exercise. This exercise will help strengthen muscles of the shin, calf, and thighs. It can improve your ability to perform activities such as walking, stepping onto and off of curbs, and climbing stairs. This can be performed while sitting or standing, either independently or with support such as from a chair, wall, or walker for added safety. Stand or sit tall with shoulders level and chin parallel to the floor. Focus your eyes forward on a target at eye level. Begin marching in place by lifting alternate knees towards the ceiling. Perform eight complete repetitions. Now, we will perform dynamic trunk rotations. Dynamic trunk rotations increase the flexibility of the muscles involved in turning and reaching behind, for example, reaching for the seat belt. You can perform this exercise while sitting or standing. Performing them in the seated position will be safer. Sit or stand tall with your shoulders level and chin parallel to the floor. Fold your arms across your chest. Slowly rotate the trunk to one side as far as is comfortable. Stretch only to the point of gentle tension. Rotate the head in the same direction. Slowly rotate the trunk to the opposite side as far as is comfortable. Breathe evenly throughout the slow, continuous movement. Repeat eight times in each direction. Next, we will perform lateral trunk flexion. This exercise improves the ability to reach objects overhead. For example, on a shelf or cupboard, you can perform this exercise sitting or standing. Sit or stand tall with shoulders level and chin parallel to the floor. Extend your left arm up overhead and gently lean to the right side. Move slowly. Return to center and bring your arm down. Extend your right arm up overhead and gently lean to the left side. Keep your feet hip width apart. Repeat eight times on each side.
Now, we will perform trunk flexion and extension exercises. This will increase your flexibility of muscles involved in bending and reaching forward. For example, tying your shoes. You can perform this exercise while sitting or standing. Performing them in the seated position will be safer. Sit or stand tall with the shoulders level and chin parallel to the floor. Fold your arms across your chest. Inhale. Pull your stomach muscles in and slowly lean back as far as is comfortable, exhaling as you move. Inhale and slowly bend forward, hinging at the hips. Keep your spine as straight as possible as you move. Move within a comfortable, pain-free range of motion. Repeat eight times forward and back. Finally, we will perform shoulder circles, our last warm-up exercise. This will promote mobility in the shoulders and will improve your posture and ability to reach. Perform this exercise in the seated position for added safety. Slowly lift your shoulders up, circle your shoulders around and then down. Perform shoulder circles first in the forward direction and then in the backward direction. Move shoulders through as full a range of motion as possible while keeping your head still. Breathe evenly throughout the exercise. Repeat eight times in each direction. 